San Quentin Prison in the Bay Area is world famous, home to murderers, psychopaths, kidnappers, thieves, you fucking name it. And that's just the inmates. Wait till you hear about this motherfucker right here. Dr. Leo Stanley was the chief surgeon of San Quentin Prison from like 1919 to I think 1951. And you ain't gonna fucking believe what this motherfucker was doing. Every death row inmate that came into San Quentin, this motherfucker was castrating blood. Cut me nuts up. You see, Dr. Leo Stanley believed in some stupid motherfucking shit. He was a smart fucking guy, well educated, but back then people believed a lot of crazy shit. And this was his thing. He thought the key to youth for a man to stay young was just having a fresh pair of balls. So that's what he was doing, blood. He was taking these inmates' balls and giving them to old men. And Dr. Leo Stanley, he did this to tens of thousands of motherfuckers, blood. Pretty much, as far as I know, every inmate that got killed in San Quentin got their nuts cut off, blood. I mean, don't get me fucking wrong. He's doing it after they die. He like immediately cutting their nuts off once they dead. He ain't doing it when they alive. But still though, that means you gotta go to heaven or hell without your balls. I mean, you think about that, blood. You end up going to heaven or going to hell and you wind up without your balls. Everybody gonna be laughing at your ass. It's fucking terrible, blood. And that shit obviously don't fucking work. But there was a high fucking demand for fresh balls. He started using goat balls and monkey balls, all kinds of balls. He just started sticking them in motherfuckers and trying to keep them young. And then there was this bad motherfucker named Clarence Kelly in Frisco. And he was on a murder spree. Frisco never had nobody like this. So they're executing his ass. And uh, Dr. Stanley comes out with it. Because prior to this, the general public didn't know this motherfucker was cutting all the prisoners nuts off and shit. So, uh, he tells everybody, he's like, yeah, I just castrated that fool after he died. He wanted me to anyway. So one of the reporters is like, wait, you castrated him? Why? He's like, oh, I do that to every inmate after they die here. I always cut their balls off. And then there was an uproar. A lot of people was pissed about it. And naturally, they gonna fire him for this shit. I mean, you can't be cutting motherfucking nuts off, right? But then there was a whole bunch of motherfuckers public outcry. They like, nah, we will love Dr. Stanley. He needs to keep his job. Thousands of motherfuckers was writing in letters to the newspapers saying how wonderful Dr. Stanley was and he kept his job. He died an old man like in Moran or something. He lived to be like 81 or some shit. But, but it just goes to show, don't ever become a victim of this tyrannical fucking system we got in this country. I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't